Hello everyone today's we are talking about. The international student off-campus work hours policy will remain in effect in Canada until April 2024. The Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, has declared that, save during designated academic vacations, they will be expanding a policy that permits specific overseas students to work more than the standard 20 hours per week that is set for off-campus employment. Canada's Immigration Service introduced a temporary regulation in 2022 that permitted certain overseas students to seek full-time, 40 hours per week, job off-campus in response to the country's increasing labour shortages. Prior to the news made yesterday, this interim policy, which went into effect on November 15, 2022, was scheduled to end on December 31 of this year. However, this interim regulation has been extended till April 30, 2024, as per the declaration made yesterday. Note, IRCC only permitted foreign students to work off-campus throughout the academic year for a maximum of 20 hours per week prior to this new regulation going into effect in late 2022. Under the existing policy of the IRCC, international students have always been permitted to work full-time during regular academic vacations, reading week, winter break, etc. This indicates that until December 7, 2023, international students already in Canada, as well as applicants who have already submitted a study permit application as of that date, will be able to work off campus more than 20 hours per week. This is in line with the news made yesterday. What does this entail for Canadian international students who meet the requirements? Even while the IRCC's decision does not make the program permanent as many international students had anticipated, many of them will still benefit from it across Canada. This is due to the fact that being able to work longer hours relieves foreign students of the financial load. Being able to work full-time allows us to get more money and not have that financial burden, or worry so much about money, as one foreign student from Ecuador put it in a November CBC report. Qualification for the IRCC's work schedule policy Only a certain kind of overseas students can work longer than the typical off-campus job cap. In order for an overseas student to work more than 20 hours per week, they need to 1. Attend classes in person at their Canadian post-secondary institution, rather than virtually from overseas. 2. Have their study permit contain an off-campus job permission clause. Asterisk students who applied for a study visa by October 7 of last year, the day the IRCC first announced this temporary policy in 2022, have also benefited from the lifting of the prohibition on working off campus. Is the IRCC thinking of taking any more action in this regard? IRCC also stated that the Immigration Agency will continue to examine options for this policy in the future as part of yesterday's statement. Although the IRCC hasn't taken any concrete action as of yet, the crucial release from yesterday did specifically indicate that the organization may consider expanding off-campus work hours for international students to 30 hours per week while class is in session. This would be another departure from the standard restrictions placed on off-campus employment for international students. Currently, Foreign nationals studying in Canada are only permitted to work off campus for up to 20 hours a week while enrolled in classes. For more information on these and other significant policy developments affecting foreign students around the country, be sure to return to CIC News. The country's dedication to creating a welcoming and inclusive atmosphere is demonstrated by the decision to extend off campus work hours until April 2024 demonstrating Canada's continued emphasis on the welfare and professional advancement of its foreign student community. This approach helps international students integrate more fully into Canadian society and improves their educational experience overall. Looking ahead, this extension has the potential to significantly influence the paths and goals of a great number of students who have selected Canada as their place of study. That is over today in video thanks for watching entire video hopefully information useful to you see you later in next video.